What's going on? Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today we are going to walk through the different keyword match types, how they work, what they are, which ones you should be using, and which ones you should be staying away from. All right, so we're logged into our AdWords account. We're going to go through the keyword match types today and how they work. First things first, we're going to go into our Keywords tab, and we're going to work in here, uh, in this ad group. We're going to choose a keyword. So what's a good one today? Here we go. Pay-per-click management. All right, so what you're looking at right now, here's our keyword that we want to say, let's just say, example sake, this is the keyword we want to go after, okay? So we're going to create an ad group around this keyword and add with this keyword worked into it and go to a landing page about this keyword. So what the hell is a keyword match type? Okay, so there's three important ones you need to know. Exact match, phrase match, and modified broad match. Now what you're looking at right now is broad match, just broad match, not modified broad match. This is broad match. This is what you want to stay away from at all costs, okay? What you want what you want to go after is modified broad match, which is this. Simply put, pluses in front of each word in your keyword. Okay? So what this is telling Google is, hey man, listen, I, I want to bid on this keyword. I want traffic for it, but every word in this keyword has to be used in the search query that someone types into Google before you show my ad. Okay? So it's just a way of tightening it down more because when you just do broad match, which is this, You're telling Google, I want something closely related to this if you can. Not a big deal if you can't. So if we bid on this keyword broad match, I guarantee we're going to get, our ads are going to show for key, when someone types in something like office management supplies, click manager, click office manager, or something, some ridiculous things that are totally irrelevant. And you might think, oh, who cares, Rob? Like, no one's going to click my ad for that if it's about pay-per-click management. No, they will. <laughs> Trust me, they will. They will click it and you will spend money and it's a huge waste of your time and your money. So just stay away from it. It's a total waste of your time. So remember the first one, we're going to do modified broad, which is the pluses. The next one we're going to do is phrase match, which is simply put just quotes around the keyword. So now we're getting a little more focused. We're telling Google, I only want terms very closely related to pay-per-click management. So they're going to, Google's going to show your ad for things like pay-per-click management services, pay-per-click management company. Companies, you get what I, you know what I mean. Basically, just adding a modifier on the end, and that's it's just a, another more. They're going to send you more relevant traffic. And the last one is exact match, which is brackets around the keyword, just like this. Okay. And what you're telling Google is, I want this exact keyword, and it's searched. And they're going to show your ad for like misspellings, like if someone misspelled management or something like that, it, they'll still show it your ad because they know they know the person's intent and what they're looking for. So that's it, guys. That's what you want to stick it to, and you won't get crushed with wasted ad spend. And this is probably the number one problem we see when auditing people's accounts is that they just have one ad group with 150 broad match keywords in it, and then they wonder why they're not getting leads. It's it's because it's just structured wrong. So remember, exact match is the brackets, phrase match is the quotes, modified broad is the pluses in front of the words. Stay away from regular broad match. Go forth and make some money with AdWords, my friends. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up. Check out the links in the description. I've dropped some cool stuff in there for you as well. Other than that, I'll catch you in the Facebook group or in the next video.